Hi there, Lizard from Isterus. Um Today you're going to look at basically the first ever overdrive pedal in a way. Um, the Electro Harmonix LPB1 which stands for Linear Power Booster. Um, it's basically a boost pedal, it's just a single knob um, boost pedal. So all you've got is foot switch and the level of boost. Um, I think you've got, I think it must be around 20 decibels or so of, of gain. So as simple as you can get, it's just a gain control or a volume control. Um, but yeah, as I said, this was basically the first overdrive device. When it first came out, it was just like a little box with a plug on it that you stuck into your amp. It wasn't even a pedal, didn't have a foot switch. It was just something you plugged through. Um, but this was kind of the, the invention of overdrive, really. But boost pedals in general are really useful things, whether it's just as using it literally as a boost, i.e. a lift, like for when you're playing solos, you kick it in, so you've just got that extra bit of bite, extra bit of distortion, extra bit of gain, and volume, or you know, whichever way. Um, or you can even use them as a negative boost, you can have them so it quietens down or attenuates your signal. Um, or it's just making a single channel amp. Um, more versatile, it gives you kind of a second, pseudo second channel in a way. Some people use boost pedals, having them on all the time, um, just as a, especially if you've got long signal chains, you can use it to boost your signal so you get a little bit less degradation, especially in the high frequencies. Um, so yeah, loads of different uses for such a simple kind of device. Obviously, nowadays, everyone under the sun makes a boost pedal and there's you know, like your kind of treble boost type, um, ones that specifically accentuate a particular EQ, um, bump or lift. You know the really boutique ones that are supposed to be totally transparent and not um, impact your tone at all, just give you a perfect volume increase, you know, without having any kind of EQ effect at all. Um, the LPB1, I'd say, has kind of a bit of a low end thickening going on. I wouldn't say it's a transparent boost, I think it kind of adds a bit of warmth to your signal. But I'll show you and you can make your own mind up of what you think of it. Um, so my clean tone is just on the Marshall, just pretty plain, nothing going on. And the pedal in, it's in the middle and then I'll just play a few chords and move the knob around and you can see the sort of range of the thing. I'd say it definitely adds, um, definitely adds low end in. So down there, it's complete silence. So this is what I mean, where you could even use it as a volt, as a volume drop. You know, you could have a, you could have your amp set kind of dirty, and you could use this <laughs> to bring down your volume. So the opposite of a boost, um, but bring your to clean up your signal, and then you you turn it off and your amps at 
full rip, you know, that's a uh, kind of, not common, but it is a well-known use of a boost pedal. nothing so not really much to say about it really you know it's um it's just a volume control effectively but it does definitely give you a kind of warmth and um sort of very analogy sounding kind of muddiness although it's not really muddy but i think you know what i mean in terms of tone just show you it um, going into a to boost a kind of heavier sound so this is um, just my Marshall's crunch channel so now I'll be using this let's crank it up so this would be like a, a kind of gain increase or a, you know proper solo boost or whatever is using it in the opposite way um, as an attenuator <coughs> so I've got my amp set with quite a lot of gain um, and when the boost pedals on it's essentially giving me my kind of clean channel So that's a useful sort of option if you've you're using you know like a if you use an amp like a uh, JCM 800 any kind of single single channeled amp and you just max it out and you can use a, a boost pedal like this to do the opposite of a boost and kind of give you a give you a clean sound. I mean obviously you could do that with your volume control, but this way you've got it kind of at your foot and you can kick it in and in and out in time a lot easier.
So yeah, I can't really um, understate the importance of a boost pedal. I mean, you can even use a <coughs> an overdrive pedal as a boost, really, um, like Tube Screamer or Clon or something. Um, they work just as well, but obviously they've got a bit more circuitry in them, so they're more likely to kind of affect your overall tone than a boost itself. Um, but yeah, the the LPB one is basically the original overdrive pedal, so everyone should have one really. It's kind of a bit of guitar heritage in a way. Um, yeah, it's it's cool. Sounds great. Um, gives you lots of different options. I think every pedal board should have a boost pedal and use it in some way or other. They're really useful things.